Well, good morning, my Geminians. How are you cutie pies doing? Uh, Happy New Year. I keep saying New Year's Eve today. Happy Christmas Eve for all you celebrating. Merry Christmas for tomorrow. I hope you have enjoy your day with your family and friends. Eat some good food, drink some good wine, and laugh a lot. I mean, really, isn't that the cure? What ails us is laughter. We, we just don't laugh enough, I think. You know, Gemini? Let me tell you. All right. Um, first of all, for the highest viewed signs, I am doing bonus readings this weekend. I don't know. Tomorrow's Christmas. I don't know if I'll do it Christmas. I might do the bonus readings on uh, Sunday. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I definitely, because I want to do a Christmas read tomorrow. Um, but I am doing the highest viewed signs, the top three, a bonus, and they're roughly about 50 minutes. But I also am doing Oracle cards. Um, I this week again I love the general feel and direction they're getting I don't shuffle on screen because sometimes it can take upwards to 10 minutes for a card to be shot out yours um, it didn't take that long really I mean it was pretty clear clean it up and change in the wind um, it kind of goes along with the bottom of the deck we had hangman reverse Pisces energy and justice on your clarifying deck. I feel like you might have been stuck in a situation ship or in a situation or in a job that has caused you grief or a burden. And the reason why I say that is a change in the wind is there is a change coming and it's it's freeing yourself from the burden. It's it's and especially since we in the northern hemisphere have gotten into um, winter solstice and Capricorn season. And I always feel at the end of the year, it's this big push of energies to clear away, sweep away what does not belong in your life. I think that I'm reading for a Gemini that is sweeping away the negative so they can unzip or you're ready to unzip what is possible. See, it's a, like a new, a, maybe for the new year, you know, you're just kind of tying up loose ends this year so you can have a prosperous and a just a, a change. Um, I can't even speak. January 1st starts the new year for you. I mean, in a big way, let's just say that in a very big way. I know I'm not making sense, Gemini. I cannot get the words out. I really can't. And these are not going to stay. Are you going to stay? No, they're going to fall. All right. General energy for my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Gemini, feel like being a Gemini. Well, and why would you not? Geminis, I am always glad you guys are here. General energy for my Geminis. General energy for the Geminis. I can't. Ugh. General energy for the Geminis. All right. General energy for the Geminis. General energy for the Geminis. And two of wands, Aries energy. Knowing you need to make a decision, you are closer. I mean, look, this person's on, on top of their roof. They're no longer trapped inside. They're a lot freer than they think, but they still think they, they need answers from an outside source. But yet they hold the world in their hands. They have all the knowledge they need to make this decision. Kind of like a fork in the road of which path to take. But two of wands is feeling the need, maybe confusion around a decision, but I feel like inside you really know. And it could be waiting too on somebody to make a decision on you. What's influencing the two of wands? What's influencing the two of wands? And the chariot, knowing you need to get on this path and go. See this snail, it's only got a room for one and it's leaving that town behind. Where she go into that town? Whatever it is, it's patience. It's patience knowing that what's out there is better than what, what has been in here. And yeah, it's, it is a slow moving energy, sure, but it is moving where I feel like maybe you have been stuck in a, a previous situation, but it could be um, a feel because see the chariot is influencing the two of wands. I feel like you might be pulled from within to, because there is a change. You may not necessarily know what that change is, but you feel it's coming. And so this is about victory. This is about getting distance. Some of you could even be about a new car. But a two of wands is like, it is a change in the wind. I do feel like that. Okay, what is the reason for the reading for Gemini? Why are we all here today, kids? What is the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading? And the three of pentacles reversed. This is what you're leaving behind. 
disloyal energies, people you can't count on when you need them, people who only show up when, when they need you. But Three of Pentacles reverse is not getting to a Ten of Pentacles anytime soon. Capricorn energy, what's in the past? And I feel like that might be what you're cleaning up. Some of you, this is about a job. Some of you, it's about a relationship. Some of you, it's about family and friends. What's in the past? What's in the past? Seven of Wands, strong man. See, the Seven of Wands is defending. Maybe you always feel like you have to defend yourself with these Three of Pentacles reverse kind of situations. Maybe you defended a situation ship waiting for them to make a decision on you. But you, just like this man has to go to a gym to get this strong or do a lot of push-ups, lift a lot of weights to get his body physically strong. I feel like the challenges in your life, Gemini, Gemini, I'm making up words up. The challenges in your life have made you spiritually strong, have made your character strong, have made you strong. Okay. So this is what we need to get a perspective on. You need to clean up what isn't working in your life, knowing what is meant for you is going to happen, but you have to choose because like I said, I feel like this two of wands, you feel like you might be kind of confused. Um, like if this is about a career, about there's something I really want to do. I don't know how to do it. I think in essence, in your soul, you might really know what you need to do. It's small steps. You know, if this is about starting a business, it's make your business cards, doodle on paper. Um, it, it, it doesn't have, you don't have to have everything figured out. And if this is about a relationship or a person that put you on hold and you're waiting for them to carry you off onto the snail, the snail is only, like I said, I think there's only room for one. And I think this snail is meant for you. And there's no rear view mirror and there's no reverse function. So when you decide to get on the snail, and I think some of you, if this reading's resonating, you know that when this change comes, there's no going back. That might be a little scary too. And I feel like you're getting closer because like I said, she's not inside her house dreaming of it. She's got herself out of the house, but she needs to get on this path. Okay, what is on Gemini's mind? Because I'm looking at this justice card and I feel like this is your good karma waiting for you to collect. You've earned this karma from life lessons, from, from struggles, from heartache. It's time for you to collect that karma. What is on your mind? It is the hangman. Look at, there it is again. The hangman reverse. These cards flip my deck here. Let me make sure. Okay. Let's see what they are. It's a lot, but it's definitely the hangman reverse. It's unstuck in your, unsticking yourself to a situation. This is a Gemini saying, it's like kind of like you're closing your eyes and just doing it. Did you ever see, you know what I got? Have you ever seen Star is Born? I, my favorite part is at the beginning where he convinces her to go on to stage to sing that 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 big song you know shallow isn't this shallow i haven't seen that movie in a while but to go and and sing the song and she knows when she takes those first steps onto the stage her life is never going to be the same again that is what's happening you're closing your eyes and just doing it that's why it is hangman reverse you are deciding to close your eyes and jump and you're unzipping this new life you're leaving the old life behind. What is that old life you should say? Two of Pentacles reverse, four of Wands reverse. Lots of unbalance, a lot of unhappiness, trying to make something work, maybe with a soulmate that just wasn't working, but maybe you decide to leave it behind because this person hasn't showed up for you and you're tired of having to be the only one waiting for them, right? This is what's coming, King of Wands and a King of Cups. Could be two people, it could be you, it could be someone new. Um, this this is a lot of passion. It, and, for you to bring this in, you need to find the passion in your own life and within yourself. And I think that's what this hangman reverse on your mind is, is I need, I need passion back in my life. I need to explore who I am. I need to explore out there. I can't stay stuck in this. You can't keep me stuck. And I refuse to stay stuck in this stuck in the mud kind of energy because in, in the center, we have an emperor reverse. And I feel like that's you, Gemini, giving your power away, feeling like you're powerless in a situation in this two of wands when you have the ability to leave. You think these people are holding this, this girl back? Look how big she is. You've outgrown this situation. It's time to you to find a kingdom where you'd fit now because where you've been, you don't fit anymore. Okay, just wanted to get all that out. What is in the near future for my Geminis? I'm telling you, you have good karma. It's time to claim it. Cash that good karma in, Gemini. Don't be afraid to. What is the near future? What is in the near future for my gems? 
What is in the near future for my gems? What is in the near future for my Geminis? Near future for my Geminis. And the King of Pentacles reverse. This is, give me another card. No, King of Cups. That's all I need. Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's what I thought. The King of Pentacles reverse is you, you with this two of wands. If you look at this line, if you can see it, is it cut off? It might be a little cut off there. Sorry, my water bottle. Um, look at the progression. I have to, I won't stay. I'll hold it down so you can see this. Seven of wands is you this, you know what this feels like? I, I'm motivated. I'm going to do this. Seven of wands, chariot. I'm going. Two of wands. Oh, but wait, am I doing the right thing? Leaving this, this job, this, this relationship. If it's starting this business, is this the right thing? But she, again, she has the world. She has all the knowledge she, she has in her hands. She just needs to look down and see she's got all her answers. King of Pentacles reverse is, is negative thinking. It's, it's negative thoughts you're telling yourself. But it's still a King of Pentacles upright. You still have the ability to create whatever this is. If this is, if this is about starting a business, it will be successful. But you have to believe it first. And then we have this, I feel like you're going to have a momentary negative thinking and then it's go time. King of Cups, Queen of Wands. So the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands is being stable in your emotions. If somebody says, Gemini, you're crazy for doing this. You're crazy for having this relationship. You're crazy for moving across the world or starting this business. She's not falling over. She's very steadfast in her position. She's, she's solid in what she believes. She knows what she believes. And here comes your Queen of Wands. And she doesn't give enough what people think. That's the Queen of Wands for you. She is unique and charismatic and funny and quirky, but she always does what she says and she does things she doesn't say. She doesn't need to talk about it, she just does. She's the hustler of the deck. She's making her dreams come true. And so I love this energy. So yeah, the King of Pentacles reverse could be a delay in your thinking, but inevitably you're a King of Cups and Queen of Wands. I have no fear that you're, this is gonna happen. It's, it's really a new time for you. And look at that, justice and two of cups. And some of you, this is all about taking a chance on bringing this to fruition, this new love. Maybe you're afraid of being married. Maybe you're afraid of starting something new. I love that. I love that. Okay, what is this two of wands in the chariot? What is this two of wands in the chariot? If this is about a love relationship, let me just say, you got somebody who's willing to go to the ends of the earth to fight for you. Maybe the reason for the reading is you thinking it can't work. Maybe you're from different backgrounds. Maybe you're older than them or younger than them. This person is not who you thought they would be, but something about them makes you not able to walk away from them. King of Pentacles reverse could be you thinking this can't work. How can this work? And the King of Cups says it will work. Love will work. This is some big love. Queen of Wands is also some big passion, okay, for you lovers out there. I feel like either way, if this is business or love, it's going to succeed. It's time to collect that, that um, good karma as soon as you sweep up what's no longer working in your life, which is negative thinking, really. It could be people. It could be you thinking that you don't know something when you really do. What is this Two of Wands in the Chariot? What is this Two of Wands in the Chariot, Gemini? Two of Wands in the Chariot. Two of Wands in the Chariot. And the Knight of Cups. Something definitely about new love. Passion. Romance. Gemini's like, oh, well, let, let, me, let, let me stay back here. Maybe you feel pressure to make a decision. And there's somebody with a Seven of Wands saying, I will. You are who I want. Let's do this. And there's a Gemini just hesitant. You are hesitant. They are not. Give me another card in this Knight of Cups, Pisces Energy, and the Eight of Cups. You know what's interesting is I keep looking as I was shuffling as she's looking at the moon, Pisces Energy. Even though it's an Aries card, she's staring at the, the moon, right? And this guy is walking towards the moon. It's kind of like I think you guys are both each other's wish fulfillment. You both may have manifested each other, and I do feel like you might be on other sides of the world. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Could have been an internet connection or something like that. 
but eight of cups you both are staring at the moon he's walking towards the moon now you have i'm really feeling this now i feel like you got somebody saying i want to meet you if this is an internet thing somebody's coming to meet you and i think it might have you apprehend apprehensive what is the three of pentacles reverse reason for the reading what is the three of pentacles reverse the reason for the reading and the seven of pentacles with pisces is like what if it doesn't work out you somebody i i can't maybe you've been talking for seven months and this person's like i want to meet this i want to meet this gemini um did i say pisces i because there's so much pisces here unless you're dealing with the pisces that's crazy gemini i'm sorry seven of pentacles is you thinking will this turn into a ten of pentacles will i lose my seven of pentacles and go back to a five of pentacles if i trust this person if i'm being catfished if if they're not who they say they are i don't want to be in a five of pentacles state i don't want to feel destitute and sad and feeling rejected and so this is you thinking should i go for the ten or should I keep the seven in, in fear of falling to the five? I feel like it's it's really in your mind. What is the seven of wands reverse? Or I wouldn't say reverse. Maybe you need to be reversed on this one. You need to let this person in. What is the seven of wands in the past? What is the seven of wands in the past for Gemini? I keep wanting to say Pisces. Knight of Swords. This person knows who they want, Gemini. And it's you and it's your card. Now you could be a Gemini and I'm reading you about someone else. You might be very clear in who you want. Three of Wands reverse, no longer waiting, right? This is waiting for your ships to come in. This is saying, I found a ship, I'm on my way. Three of Wands reverse. Okay. What is the hangman on your mind, Pisces energy? There's a lot of Pisces and Pisces and Pisces. Even the moon I felt on the Two of Wands feels like Pisces. That's crazy. Okay, what is the hangman? It's actually, you know what, guys? It was the hangman reverse. I know absolutely know that. And I flipped it to hangman. That is, Gemini, you make me laugh. You know what I feel? I feel like this person is is knows what they want and it's you. Or you know what you want and it's them. You got someone hesitant to the point where my card got flipped. This is a Gemini all set for this and then pulled himself back and you're in hangman mode, pulling yourself back. But I put you back in reverse. It's time to close your eyes and, and take a leap of faith. What is the hangman reverse on Gemini's mind? What is the hangman reverse on Gemini's mind? Four swords reverse. It gives you anxiety about doing this. Taking this leap of faith gives you anxiety. But this is your good karma, Gemini. Claim it. It's good. Two of swords. Gemini's like, but I want to block my heart. Libra energy. Libra, my sister, sign. Come on, sister. Help me. See the moon? There's moon. A lot of it's moon. Very intuitive. Very into uh, very spiritual type of relationship going on here. Um, yeah, two of swords. You, 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 you can pretend they're not there, but they're like, Gemini, I'm still here. I'm not going anywhere. And this, this is, this is cute. Very cute. Okay. What is this King of Pentacles reverse King of Cups and the Queen of Wands in the near future? What is this King of Pentacles reverse King of Cups and the Queen of Wands in the near future? King of Pentacles reverse the King of Cups and the King, Queen of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Gemini, take the chance. I know it's, it's scary to trust someone after you trust someone in the past and they threw you in a five of pentacles state even in a four of pentacles i mean if you take seven minus three it's a four of pentacles you're holding your own you're holding your energy you're holding back you're locked down mode right you're locking your heart down four of pentacles he holds a pentacle over his heart to a sword she's holding her arms over her heart i think you're protecting your heart but this person is saying this is an ace of pentacles not an ace of cups or an ace of swords it's not an idea i want to do this with you i know this can really be something what is this ace of pentacles it's a new beginning it's a yes it's a yes what is this and that you, but this is here's your fear, King of Wands reverse. What if I meet them and they're a King of Wands reverse? Well, what if they're a unicorn, Gemini? You can't control fate. You can't. You have to take a chance. You have to clean up. Maybe what you need to clean up is the past. The cha what what has been done to you? you? Need to clean it up so you don't affect the future. Something good. You don't want to miss out on something good, right? You don't want to stay in a purgatory state forever. 
because you don't want to get hurt because you're missing a chance on happiness as well. So I feel like the Queen of Cups reverse and the Emperor reverse is you feeling and the tower. Wow, the tower in the world. This is coming in like a, a, a freight train. This is some strong energy, but I feel like this is you reserving your heart, holding back, Emperor reverse, not wanting to make that decision, feeling like you can't make that decision. It brings us back Aries to a two of wands of when you got hurt. I, I just feel like two of wands, seven of wands, seven of pentacles is you saying, yeah, I know this ace of pentacles can turn into this king of pentacles, but what if it turns into a king of wands reverse? And I don't know if I can do that again. But can you be happy again? Can you can you can you feel passion again? That's that's really kind of like on two ends of the spectrum. Remember the justice that was in the bottom of the clarifying deck? It's a scale here, but it's actually balanced. You don't have to give up one thing for something else. You might be able to have them both. All right, my gems, that is what I have for you. I hope you guys have a great, great weekend. Uh, probably see you tomorrow regardless. Um, yeah, have a great weekend. Merry Christmas. Take care.